So about 20 years ago, when I was a lot younger, before any of you were even born, before we had any really cool phones, before YouTube even, yes, before YouTube, this was so long ago, my husband and I bought a cabin. A cabin that was made of red bricks in a place called Wisconsin. This is a story called The Pizza and the Tornado. It's a story about the time I went out to get a pizza and got caught in a... Well, go see. And this cabin was on a lake in Wisconsin. A really long lake. Did you know that this lake was so long, they actually named it Long Lake? Totally. And we wanted to show my parents, my mom and dad, this cabin that we bought. So we told my mom and dad, let's go. Let's fly to Wisconsin. Let's go see the cabin. Now we didn't live at the cabin, we were just visiting. There was no TV at the cabin, no computers at the cabin, no radio at the cabin. What there was at the cabin was a boat and it was a nice place to hang out. There was a lake so we could go fishing and swimming, we could go inner tubing. So we decided that's what we were going to do. We were gonna go there, we were not gonna watch TV, we were not going to listen to the radio, we were not gonna do anything but go have fun on the lake and that's what we did. And then my husband said to me on a Friday, I know what we can do. You and I can get in the car and we could drive down to the nearest town called Rice Lake. And we'll let your mom and dad go out on the boat and then we'll go into town and get a pizza from a place called Drag's Pizza. Now Drag's Pizza is the best pizza you've ever had and it's the coolest place to hang out. It's where everyone goes on a Friday night. And he knew that because he was from Rice Lake from when he was a little kid. So I said, that sounds fun. We'll let my parents go out on the boat and we'll drive into Rice Lake. And that's what we did. So Friday night came and we started driving. We drove kind of far. We drove over bumpy roads. We were passing some farms. We passed some cornfields and little bends in the road. And finally we got to Rice Lake. We see Drag's Pizza. But Mark said this was the coolest place to hang out and I didn't see anybody there, not really. Mark walked inside to get the pizza. When he walked out, I saw the pizza. It was huge. It was so big, you guys. It smelled amazing, but it was so big. I didn't even know how we were gonna get it in the car. I had no idea how it was gonna fit in the car. But we managed to do it. Mark said, I've been there, done that. Trust me, we'll get that pizza in the car. And we did. So we moved the seats around. We pushed and crammed the pizza in the car until it finally fit. We started to get into the car. And just at that very time, I hear a sound. Now, this was a sound I've never heard before. But it was a sound that I knew sounded scary. And the sound was like this. And I looked at Mark and I said, Mark, what is that? What is this sound? And he looked worried. Now, I wasn't a meteorologist yet, but I knew this sound didn't sound right. And I thought it was a tornado siren. We looked at the sky and it was bright blue, perfect weather. I didn't see a tornado. So we turned on the radio and this is what the announcer said. If you are in the town of Eau Claire, take shelter. If you are in the town of Barron, take shelter. If you are in the town of Rice Lake, take shelter. If you are in the town of Long Lake, take shelter. There is a large tornado on the ground and it is doing damage and it is traveling toward those towns. As I looked around, I didn't see anything. The sky was blue and my husband said, hold on, we have to drive. Just keep looking at the sky, Jody. We gotta drive, we gotta get to the cabin because your parents are probably out on the lake and they have no idea what's headed their way. So we drove as fast as we could down the road. We passed the farms, we passed all the corn, and we were driving and driving as fast as we could and we still didn't see anything. And then finally, we came around the bend in the road and I could make out the cabin, it was right there and I could see it. And guess what? Right behind the cabin, right behind the cabin was the biggest, blackest tornado that I had ever seen. It was huge. It was so big. It was so big. Do you know what it looked like? It looked like a big black hairball. It looked like a big black hairball. 
Do you know why it looked like a big black hairball? It looked like a big black hairball because it was turning so fast, it was throwing out a bunch of trees and dirt and rocks. And it looked fuzzy because it was throwing out all kinds of stuff. That stuff is called debris. So debris is what made the tornado look so fuzzy. And that is not a good thing. So we turn the corner. We see the cabin. We see the tornado. We jump out of the car and we go running toward the front door. There, my dad is standing. He has no idea what's happening on the other side of the cabin. And he's looking up at the sky. He's staring straight up and he's saying, Is it gonna rain? Do you think it's gonna rain? And we're like, go, go inside, run, get inside. We have to go inside and go downstairs to be safe. We go in, my mom is standing there going, what's going on? And we say, run, run, we gotta go downstairs into the basement. We go downstairs as fast as we can into the basement because that's what houses in places like Wisconsin have, basements. They have basements, it's where you go downstairs under the ground and you're safe. So we go downstairs and we run to the corner of the room where we all huddle together. We all huddle together and we wait. We can hear the tornado getting louder and louder and getting louder and louder and it means it's getting closer and closer. And I say to my husband, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? And he looks at me and he says, we'll be okay, just hold on, we'll be okay. And we hear it getting louder and louder and louder and louder. And guess what? It starts to get a little bit more quiet and a little bit more quiet, and a little bit more quiet, and a little bit more quiet. And all of a sudden, it stops. I don't hear anything anymore, nothing at all. And we wait, and we look at each other, and my husband says, stay right here, I'll be right back. And he goes upstairs, and he looks around, and then he calls us. Jody, Yolanda, Joe, come back up. Come back up. It's okay. It's gone. And guess what? Guess what the tornado had done? The tornado had come from overland and it traveled right across the water in front of our cabin. It took out the dock. It even struck the boat and it kept going to the other side of the lake where it ran into a bunch of trees, big, tall trees. And the trees were so big that it actually started to break the tornado apart. And the tornado continued to break apart and it went back up into the clouds where it disappeared. And it was done. Nobody was hurt. And do you know why nobody was hurt? Nobody was hurt because those people lived there and they had television and they had radio and they had heard from their local meteorologist that there was a chance of tornadoes. And then when that tornado started on the ground, they knew because they got the warning and they knew to go into their basement and be safe just like we had done. So nobody was hurt. Everybody was just fine. But usually at the end of this story, there's something everybody wants to know. Everybody has a question at the end of this story and it's usually this. What happened to the pizza? What happened to the pizza? Okay, this is the best part. The pizza was still in the car and the pizza was still warm. It was still warm because all of this commotion with the tornado had happened in just a couple of minutes. That's how fast it was. So the pizza was still gooey and cheesy and warm and guess what? We took that big old pizza out of the car and we ate it all up. It was the best pizza any of us had ever had in our whole lives. That is the story about the time I went to get a pizza and nearly got caught in a tornado.